hello friend welcome to my youtube channel today in this video I will show you how to install and configure open filer step by step we require open filer for the centralized storage so that we can install the vCenter on it as we cannot use a real sand here for our uh, lab environment so we are using the open filer for our uh, home lab testing and learning after installing the open filer we will create the LUN on it and will uh, set up the iSCSI target on it and will share the created LUN on open filer with the help of the iSCSI target and uh, on the ESX host we discover and attach the iSCSI based data store on it and on this data store we will install the vCenter so first you need to download the open filer ISO from the internet and I am installing this uh, open filer on our VMware workstation so let's start it I already having the open filer ISO so just click on the create a new virtual machine then click next and then click I'll install open operating system later click next here I'm choosing the Linux and the version I'm using uh, here is Linux 2.6.x kernel 64 bit click next and I'm giving here the name of the VM open filer then click next then I'm giving the size this size for this VM 10 GB click next and then click finish now click on the virtual machine setting and I'm increasing the memory of this uh, virtual machine to 2 GB and uh, the I'm selecting the ISO image file here which is here and then click OK and uh, the I'm uh, doing I'm accepting the bridge mode here and click OK and just power on this virtual machine press enter for installation and just follow the instructions on a screen for installing this uh, open filer click next and select the language for the keyboard click next and it asks for uh, the partition table it will erase all data on the particular uh, uh, disk which we attach for our uh, open filer so select yes to erase all data then click next yes and I'm giving here the static IP for our open filer enter the subnet mask and I'm going to disable IPv6 support here and click OK I'm giving the host name as well for this open filer dot test dot lan write the gateway if you have DNS then you can enter DNS as well click next and then select the time zone here then write the password for root click next and click next now the installation is started okay the installation is completed now click on uh, reboot and do one 
thing just disconnect the DVD as well go to settings and from here and just disconnect the ISO click OK right our VM comes up now and is stating that to access this open filer we need to enter this IP and this is the port number 446 so I already enter it here like this and you can see the open filer web console opens here the default username is open filer and the password is uh, password press enter so in this way you can see the web console for open open filer is open up here uh, before proceeding further we need to attach one disk to the open filer VM so just click on setting and click on add yes and select the hard disk next next create a new virtual hard disk next and I'm attaching a 260 GB disk here click next and finish as you can see there are two disks showing here one is the default disk on which our uh, operating system installed and this is the another disk we just attach 260 GB which we will be used for our LUN for creating the LUN on it okay now click on the volume tab click on block devices now here you can see the 260 GB disk which we attached earlier so we need to create volume on disk or you can say we will create LUN on this particular disk for this we need to click on volume group then create a new physical volume then select this one disk then create a partition in dev sdb click on create you can see the partition is created here even if you click on uh, the block devices you can see one partition is created here now click on add volume then give the volume name like wall1 select the disk and click on add volume group the volume group is created now with the name wall1 now click on add volume and create here iSCSI uh, for volume and we'll use the entire size here and the file system type is block that is iSCSI uh, click on create alright so our volume is created now the next thing is now we are going click on services here you can see the SKZ target is disabled so we need to enable it and start the service so our service is running now click on system and here under the network access configuration we'll need to <coughs> need to add the access configuration here so I'm entering iSCSI share here and the network this is our network and the subnet mask and type is share and then click on update 
so what it will do it will allow our learn to be shared on this particular network now click on volume tab click on iSCSI target and here add a new iSCSI target so I'm here entering wall 1 click add and here you can see our one iSCSI target is added now click on LUN mapping here you can see the one LUN is showing here which we created earlier and click on map to map this particular LUN with this iSCSI target this this particular iSCSI target click on map now as you can see this particular LUN is mapped with this iSCSI target now click on network ACL here you can see this particular iSCSI share on this network is showing as access under access deny so we need to allow it so that we can access this share or this LUN on network and click on update alright so in this way you can create a LUN on this open filer and attach that particular LUN with the iSCSI target now our iSCSI target is completed and it's already successfully created on the open filer the next thing what we will do is on the ESX host we will discover this particular iSCSI target and will attach this data store on the ESXi host so in this way you can install and configure the iSCSI target on open filer so that's all for that's all for this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel and thanks and have a good day